What's up, y'all? This is Queen Key, and I just got my progress report. On the progress report, straight A's, bitch. Okay. <laughs> progress report. It's your girl, Lila Shepard. A boss, but the most lit. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel, and this is the progress report. We ain't staying now. Tune in every time. Uh, we don't do no cap. Report only facts. The progress report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. What's up? It's your girl, DJ Excel. Okay, this is the Progress Support Podcast, y'all. And we got Queen Key in the building. What's yes. <laughs> We've been wanting this interview for a long time. So when we yes. got the word that we can lock it in, we like, duh, we been ready. So <laughs> yes. welcome. Thanks yes, for having toast, me. Toast, 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 toast. Okay. Yes. Toast. All right, all right now. Listen, we got it. We got them both. What we is that? That's a beer or something? Nah, it's a seltzer. It's a seltzer, y'all. You can tell she drinks seltzers. Look at that button up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the hell up. That shit got flowers on it. Yes. <laughs> we over here drinking hardcore crazy. liquor. You drinking okay. seltzers. Anyways, well, welcome back to Atlanta. I know you've been here before, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, for I've sure. Been here a few times. For sure, for sure. So, welcome back to the A. Yeah. Now, we know you're from Chicago, right? Yeah. What part? Um, So, the south side. Like, Ooh. But I've been moved from the city when I was a kid. Like, I ain't grow up in the, like, my first crib in the city was um, in the hundreds. Like, that's okay. where most of my family live and where my grandma house was, my daddy house, my mama, like, my whole family. But my mama got us the fuck. Okay. Out of, <laughs> Respect. Like, when I was real young. But we moved around a lot. Like, I went to a different school every year mm. of my life type shit. Like, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. Damn. But, like, even, like, with my nephew, like, they, I wanted to move him out to school, and they're, like, it's, like, a big-ass impact. But, mm. yo, kids be adapting. Yeah. Or yeah, did yeah. you run into a lot of trouble? No, so, like, I I was just, I got in trouble, period. Because I'm just the type of motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. I'm just going to have fun. Like, that was my whole thing. So, it was, I guess, considered as bad when I was a kid. But I was having fun. So, yeah, you definitely don't adapt to your, um environment because i feel like for the most part whatever school i was at that's how i was acting mm. for the majority. so like, if you went to like a, a suburban boogie damn. school you was okay white. so i went i went <laughs> to a technically kind of bougie school mm. but them hoes got on my nerves so it's like it was really versatile a little yeah. bit so just for the most just just for the most part like i wasn't I wouldn't be as crazy. So like when I went to, like <laughs> I went to, too, I went to HF. Thing. That was like in I guess a good area. Mm-hmm. It's still a little versatile, but that's where a lot of the bougie motherfuckers at. Mm. And that's when I mean I was just bad as hell at home. Like I had got kicked out, and Damn. then I had to go to a different school mm. named Eisenhower, and all oh, that shit was just. It was like fucking preschool compared mm. to the other school mm-hmm. I went to. So that's how I know it's like the curriculum's different. All facts, that shit. Facts, like, facts, facts, facts. Yeah. In the hood, they, they don't just give a fuck. In the ghetto it, school, yeah, they so don't true. give they a fuck. They just try and get through the day. So true. Yeah, yeah. they don't give a fuck. Right. And I realize that's why a lot of motherfuckers be kind of slow as hell when they grow up. Because you real. went to that ghetto ass school yeah. all your life. Yeah. And you ain't really learn shit. Because they don't be knowing Girl. the basic. Damn, I bet, yo, I worked real. in the school for a little bit, and like those kids was destruct- yes. destruct- disruptive, disruptive as fuck. <laughs> Let me get it out. I, know what you mean. I need to go back to the <laughs> no, but for real, like it was like yo, it really wasn't just the teacher teaching and people really writing right. notes. It's sad. It's so much say. other shit, mm-hmm. and Facts. that's why they got the higher achievers because they be like, all right, we're gonna move y'all to the. I was high achieving like a motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> I'm weak. It's funny, I'm weak. and I was literally, I was leaving every day and shit because, mm. like, I went from the good school to, like, just a mediocre ass school. Mm. And it's like, I only needed, like, two years of science. So I was already done with science. Damn. It was like certain shit where it's like, I'm out this bitch. So I was literally leaving. I was going to Burger King, like, every fucking Not day. Burger Not King. Burger King, right? <laughs> yeah, that was the only place. It was either okay. Burger King or Beggars. My only fucking option. Okay. Was, you Some Chicago shit. Oh yeah, it's pizza. Oh, okay, pizza. okay, okay, okay. Deep so, dish. Uh, they got deep dish. Okay, yeah. I know they known for deep dishes in Chicago. Uh, okay, yeah. so yeah. like life in Chicago, you know, we hear all these things. People call it Chirac and shit. Like, but what is it really like though? Like, I've been in Chicago as an adult, but like, how was it like growing up there though? I mean, I don't like calling Chicago Chirac simply because 
the shit, I see the bigger picture. Mm. I don't think it's cool, cute, funny, mm. none of that shit that all these niggas keep killing each other. Let's be clear. Like, that For shit real. is just dumb. Yeah, it's just like, it's fucked up and it's yeah. really a trap. Like, I wish, like, niggas could just oversee, like, on some out of body shit. Just, mm. like, look at. Like, look at how they, like, look and what they're doing and what they've fallen into. Like, yeah. this little trap. And they need to just break out that shit and really focus on who they are as individuals and fucking get the fuck on. Because all the niggas doing all that shit, they don't got no fucking life. They, they need to find them some business for real. Cause it's crazy. Like, fuck all that trying to be tough. You know what I'm saying? Everybody want they lick backs and shit. Bitch, you would be licking all your damn life. <laughs> Facts. Just, no, you know, it don't stop. Yeah, after a while, you just got to move on. So, mm. I think um, I think Chicago got hope. I just think um, people really just need to find them some business. You know, motherfuckers need something to look forward to. True. Yes. Really, they need to find God. Everybody mm. just needs to lock in with their relationship with God around this motherfucker. Because I feel like that will be the only, like, I can't help these niggas. You can't help these niggas. But God <laughs> can help these niggas. Let's they need clear. purpose and guidance. Purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because a lot of motherfuckers, if you was just raised around that, you don't even know right. there's a whole different world. Right. You know what I mean? So it is really sad, but that's what they need, purpose. Like yeah. Facts. Mm. So yeah. I got to ask, I like, what's your thoughts on this whole King <laughs> Von documentary? And just, did you know Von? Um, no, I ain't know him personally. I never met him or nothing like that. But, of course, I know hella people who know him and all of that. But... I didn't know it was a documentary. Yeah, that uh, shit going viral as hell. I seen a tweet of like with the title. Yeah. Um, I didn't. I haven't watched it. Mm. I really don't. If I know something is negative, mm. I'm not necessarily watching it. I really try to channel what the fuck I uh, take in. And I've been busy as hell lately. I ain't had the time okay. to just watch clear. a damn documentary that's I guess on some negative shit like. I damn near be tired of that shit. Like, that's why I don't mm. watch the news. I don't want to see that shit. For sure. I hear that. Yeah, the documentary, like, three hours long. For real? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's interesting. Did you see it? I seen a little bit. Yeah. I, I fell asleep. I put, first of all, why would I put that on going to bed? Yeah, no, you wear out. You wear out. That was fucking stupid. You wear out. All right. <laughs> but I, I just seen a little bit. But yeah. to be that long, it all was about, so long. What would you think about it? I mean, it was interesting. It was the dude. He did take his time putting it together, but it was it was just so that's interesting. Who made it? It's a guy. I think he's from overseas. It's a random um, dude. I don't know if he random or if he does, does documentaries. That even come about? But How he, do he put it together, get that, like signed off and stuff. And he, do y'all think that's like he pretty much used all of King Von's social media tweets mm. and shit to kind of piece but things together? Ain't that like defamation? It's like, bro, you tweaking. Don't make shit about me, nigga. You and a lot of me. people are bothered by it. Yeah, because it's like, who is this nigga? And for him to even be painting this, who are you, you weird, yeah. obsessed-ass nigga? Like, that'd be the problem. It'd be these random-ass outsiders mm. that just be obsessed with all the shit going on the in culture. Chicago. It's just, yeah, just anything, like, mm. just that be going on with niggas. And it'd be like, they don't be having good intentions. Like, you ain't trying to help this man. You ain't trying to help his family. You ain't trying to help nobody your ass talking about. Mm. You just trying to paint a picture and get some fucking money. Like, and it's yeah. real as fuck, and like people are mad for a real. A lot of people like, are, are you really putting your life in jeopardy for like? Yeah, I don't know. I guess you really have to hear from him and be like, "Yo, what's the purpose of this?" Right. And like, do you understand this ain't no joke? Like this right. Some real shit. Right. And it's just like, who is he? What make what he say valid? That's no, I feel you. Like, I feel you. Where's the has his shit valid? Nah, but she said like they was he, using real. He's using King Von's tweets to like piece stuff together, make shit valid. Is is like from I didn't even watch the full so thing. I watched like an hour. The man Twitter, pretty much, and line things up according to what he thought was the timeline of things. I ain't gonna lie, people yes. can't do like in ten more years, people ain't gonna be able to do crimes and shit. Because oh, it's this over. Too, like yeah. technology, yeah. cameras. Like back in the it's 80s, they could really shit. get away with shit. Now, it's if over you, with. Like selling drugs. Like if you just running from something or some, like so many people got rings on their door, like you gonna get right. caught. Like, right. That's real talk. You gonna get caught. Okay, right. ain't no end of Cheating, <laughs> cheating and all that, you gonna get caught. Right. Right. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> y'all That's real nah, shit. Fine God, fine God. Okay, listen. Fine God. So, so you still in Chicago? Um, Not necessarily in Chicago. 
Hell no. Nah. Because right. I know you went to the West. I'm too. in Illinois. Okay, period. <laughs> Say that. Yeah. I'm in Illinois yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. But yeah, I, I plan on um, moving, actually. But I want to go to Cali. Yeah. Because I feel like that's definitely like where I'm going to live for like a long mm. time. Like that's where I'm going to be put up. That's where period. like my babies are going to be raised type mm-hmm. shit for real. Like in Cali. Like on some rich nigga shit. So. Say that. You been, doing, <laughs> you been doing work out there? Um, yeah. Yep. I love LA. Yeah. yeah I know you I was out there LA. for a minute, wasn't you? Before? Yeah. I was actually about to move to LA right <laughs> So I was, so I did like a test house. Like I had got a crib for like a month. Like right before I got pregnant, and I think like on my second or third day I got pregnant or some shit. Damn, <laughs> see that's what you get with them nice Damn. ass houses. You gonna get? Damn. Laid up. Yeah, I was a wild girl. No, <laughs> hey, it no be like bap. that. No bad. Life my go life. Ass. Life Living go on life. the edge. Say that. But uh, <laughs> but yeah. Life gonna lie every time. <laughs> we definitely gonna talk about your beautiful babies for yeah. sure. We gonna get into that, but we wanna know a little bit more about you first. So, yeah. at what point did you get into music though? Like, um, so when I was like young as hell, when I was seven, me and my brother, mm. we made like a mixtape with like a keyboard, a fucking radio with a little tape thing you okay. put in there, press record. So that shows me right there that it was just like a natural hobby and gift mm. or whatever. But I dropped my first song in 2015. Yeah, the summer mm. of 2015. And it was because I was going through too much shit. Like, I had got kicked out. Everybody shit. was just acting like some weird, jealous ass hoes. Mm. And it was just like, damn, y'all tweaking. Like, y'all really treat me like Cinderella in this bitch. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm the type of person, like, I'm a movie girl. So I know how it go when people treat a motherfucker bad mm-hmm. and they ain't supposed to be treated bad. Okay. So I just knew that, like, I was just going to be somebody. Like, I mm. literally, I'd be telling them, like, fuck y'all, I'm going to be famous. I don't give a fuck. Like, when I'm famous, bitch. <laughs> like, I was that kid. But I was so sure. Like, I knew. But, yeah, it was a lot of praying and shit and just, like, finding myself. Like, Amen. I really went through a thing, like, with finding myself. Mm. So. so when you first started, you knew that's, like, what you really want to do? Yep, I knew this shit was going to take off. I mm. knew it. Like, that's why I did it. I ain't even tell nobody. Mm. I was going to start rapping. I ain't, hey, come to the studio with me. I ain't, hey, mom, you think I should be a rapper? Mm. Ain't none of that shit. I dropped that shit. That shit turned up. Like, I knew it would. Sure. And everybody who I had said something to, they brought their ass right back. And now they trying to act like we best friends. I mean, I I yeah. knew this was going to happen, and though. How did you get it to turn up like that? Like, mm. b- start buzzing in Chicago like that? Just by being myself and, mm. and bringing something different. Because bitches weren't really talking shit for real. And, like, mm-hmm. that's what I keep saying, Facts. like, in all my interviews. Like, wasn't nobody really talking shit for real before me. Yeah. Facts. Like, it's like a thing now. Like, they didn't even made up a thing pussy rap. Mm. Like, they even yeah. be saying shit like that. But before me... It wasn't really none of that. Like, motherfuckers were talking shit about me for even, like, saying something about my pussy. Saying, Eat my like, pussy again. It was, yeah, like, saying, like, it's trash. <laughs> all that. Look, Facts. Now that's the wave. Now that's the standard. Now when a bitch drop a song, she got to include her pussy. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So it's just like, I be ahead of shit, and I be knowing how shit go. But it's like, I don't be getting mad at it. I I take that as like the upper, like, oh yeah. shit, I knew I was right. And I just keep going, period. And Facts. I just stay ahead. Shit. Facts. I, I can't even remember when I first got introduced to you. I just like that you was raw and I'm like, oh, she from Chicago, it makes sense. Like, you know, it's <laughs> it's what I in my mind expect or what I want from a female artist. Cause I like my female artists. I like She like that right. I love that she I love that <laughs> raw shit. Like yeah. so I can't even remember, but then I liked your interviews. And for me, interviews is everything. Like I, I like even if you don't like a person music, if you if you got if you know how to talk, I right. fuck with you. So it was it was just a minute ago, but I will say for sure you've been talking that shit. So like, <laughs> how do it make you feel? Like just of course you saying you you see the girls doing that now, but like, do you feel like damn like give me my just do or how do you feel? Nah, because I'm no bitch owe me shit. I don't expect these hoes to give me shit. I'm the competition in this motherfucker. Mm. I'm the competition. Sure. Real shit. All these hoes copy off me. They labels copy off me. Mm. Any bitch that got signed in my DM, Ben had told me I'm raw. Ben wanted to do a song, but oddly, we never did one. Mm. So it's just like, you know what I'm saying? I know how this shit go. I know how the game go. Sure. But I'm going to be the one who come out on top. So I'm going to just let everybody play. 
getting a million dollars of debt and you know all that shit and you one day and one day cash. they might end up coming to my label because i'm gonna have an all-female mm. label it's called impressa Ooh. Okay. That's EMP. Oh. So one day these whole day, they gonna have to get down with EMP. Okay. So it's like, I ain't really worried about it. I'm gonna probably end up saving these bitches life one day. So. Yo, you wild. <laughs> who, who, was, who was some people that was in your DMs, though? Like some artists? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All the yeah. girls. Everybody. Just everybody. Okay. Everybody. Yeah. Every, every single last one of them. That like, we know and shit for real that's really popping. It wasn't like, I ain't saying it on no disrespect. Yeah, shit, no, but no, it's just no. like. They all was in my DM. They all gave me my props. For everybody, sure. you know. And I returned the compliment for sure. But like I said, we didn't do the songs. We would talk mm. about them. We didn't do them though. It's a few features I did that never came out. Like who? But um, I did a song with Mulatto. It never came out. Damn. I still don't know why the fuck to the day to this day she didn't clear it. I feel like because. We had made it in like 2019, and then I had the shit happen. I got pregnant. Then the shit happened with COVID 2020. Then I dropped 2021. So yeah. I feel like I don't know if she feel like I was just trying to drop it now because she turned up some more, or mm. she didn't want to mm. drop it because it was old. I don't know, but she didn't say that. Like she ain't say it. So I really don't fucking know. Like it ain't no beef or nothing. Like I said, bitch don't owe me shit. For sure. I just I don't know. I just don't understand. I don't know. And then it was crazy though, cause I had seen her <laughs> like months later talking about when she dropped her project, how like niggas wanted her to fuck for the feature or something. Yeah. I'm just like, like my friend or any, anybody who knows what happened, they were sending it to me like, that's crazy. Woo. -woo. And I'm mm. like, yeah, it is crazy. So she was on your track or you were on Yeah, hers? she was on my song. And everybody else oh, had cleared okay. the fe uh, they features. It was Polo G, G Herbo, uh, Young Baby Tate, Jeez. Kid Ken. Yeah. Everybody, it wasn't no fucking problem. Because like I said, I'm cool with everybody. Sure. Everybody give me my respect. I get them there. It's like, it's love. It's real relationships. It ain't no weird shit. Mm -hmm. So it's like, I literally don't understand why she ain't do it. And it wasn't like a motherfucker told me no. Right. It was just weird shit. Like my manager would reach out to her people or her producer, they'll get him to run around. And it's like, what y'all on? No, don't drop it. You don't want me to drop Just it? Just tell me What's what up? it is. What's up? You want to be into it? Like, what you want to do? But it's like, don't nobody want to be into it. But it's like, just speak, though. You True. look like I'm not the type of bitch. Another rap bitch will take that as, like, he to get into it, get to right. this and a bitch and all that kind of shit. But I don't, I don't do that. I don't argue with hoes, none of that. I get into it with niggas. Like, I don't, I'm not even finna get into it with a bitch because I beat the fuck out of bitch, so... I ain't finna. Well, so, I was gonna say, <laughs> what, would, what would the conversation look like now? Like, you know what I mean? If y'all can have a conversation, like, what's good? I'll just be like, the song was too old to drop or something. <laughs> like, That's the question. Because yeah. it was raw as hell. I fuck yeah. around still drop. Like, I don't get no fuck. I'm independent now. The label, they be scared to do shit. I ain't scared, though. I'll drop yeah. all my shit. Any, that's so, when I was just on the plane coming out here, I made a list of all the features I dropped. That or that I made that never dropped, mm -hmm. and I plan on doing something with them. Cause for one, I don't waste my time. Like, right. and I write all my songs. Like this, really yes, all me. So if I'm in the studio, if I'm working, if I make a song and I want to drop it, I'm dropping that bitch. Yeah, and it's like that. And I think people do that all the time. Like you oh, sit yeah. on a record, nobody knows it's old yeah, unless like it sounds old. Dated, you right, know what yeah. I mean? Y'all can always change the beat. But do you think? Cause I think a lot of times this happens with artists and sometimes artists don't even know what's going on because they team be speaking true for that. Nah, so a lot of that was going on, right? So I personally hit up. Mm. Fuck, I per cause yeah. I don't be playing. Like if if I feel like the manager, whoever ain't doing fuck they need to yeah. do, all right, now I'm on missions myself. Right. Cause what the fuck going on? So I had personally hit her and I don't think she ain't hit me back. Did mm. she see it though? She saw it, yeah. Ooh, she damn, motherfuckers be knowing what's going on. Cause at the end of the day, her people, it's like they'll, she'll have to approve it. So they'll say something to her. True. Like it'll either be an option to say, yeah, we could drop it. Yeah, but tell her I need 10K. Nah, we Type ain't dropping shit. that shit. It's old. Nah, I don't want to do it. Like it's the artist, because you could say something. You can, you, like, you can, you could say something. Put a push like, behind it. But yeah, you could. I'll, I'll be looking at it two different ways, right? Because mm -hmm. like if you fucked with me before I was hot, 
I respect you because you you was fucking with me before everybody else was fucking with me. Right. So I might run with it just because, you know, but then also I do know shit be more political. Yeah, than, it do. So, like, and that's where I just wanted her to say that, though. Mm-hmm. I agree. Like, just say that then. So we know. Because say that then. Because now it's like when them tables turn, so now it's like, you know what I'm saying? So then it's going to be on me. So what, am I going to? You know what I'm saying? Treat a bitch how a bitch treated me, or am I gonna do what's right, or just whatever the case? Just them tables be turning though. Like that's oh, what people yeah. gotta know. You know what I'm saying? They them do. tables turn like a bitch, like a fucking DJ. Facts. So <laughs> that's real you shit. Know? No, so it it's is. just you gotta be mindful of who you fuck, like who how you treat a real motherfucker. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it could be like you could. I do think communication, everything. And I appreciate like the fact you said you reached out because sometimes we be in our feelings and not reach out to somebody. But it could have been like, yo, right now, not the time. Let's do some new shit. Or Say something. that though. Yeah. Say yeah, she yeah. could have said anything. Like I said, it wasn't even, it was so crazy because I didn't even get like emotional about it. The mm. old me would have been mad as fuck. This bitch, the fuck, like I would have popped off all kind of shit. But I literally just took that like, all right, I just charged that shit to the game because what? I'm going to see everybody. Gee, like, it's, I'm confident in everything that I have to do. For so sure. It's just like, like, I see you, okay. Like, I ain't need it. It's okay. Like, it's cool. It would have been nice, but it's fine. Like, my career ain't going to, like, be based off that song. Like, it'll be all right. Like, I'll see you again. Bro. I fuck with Lotto. I hope it's the real reason behind it. Nah, nah, same. I definitely hope that she get worked out. Because yeah. it only makes sense. It's like, why not? Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's cool, but it's like. It is what it is. Like, yeah, like I said, it ain't no beef. Right, right, like, right. No, nah, we, it's yeah. It's like, I don't really, like I said, I'm independent now, so. Yes, ma'am. I literally do whatever the fuck I want to do. So now it's like, I ain't, I don't fuck with motherfuckers. Like, I don't fuck with these hoes. Like, everybody cool, but it's like, as far as doing a song and all that, I'm not playing no kind of label games. I'm not talking that. down. Just, yeah. I ain't double messaging you. I ain't reaching out. I ain't doing none of that shit. Mm. I ain't overextending myself. None of that shit. Only reason I did that shit is because I was with a fucking label and they fucking gullible asses all in my <laughs> ear, all thinking, you know, this, all this industry fake shit. When yeah. meanwhile, I don't give a fuck because I didn't accomplish so damn much for sure. by my damn lonely. So it's just like, I play the game, but I don't get no fuck. Like, I ain't on that. I'm independent. Like I said, I ain't in debt. Every dollar go to me. I ain't even trying to do a song with a bitch that's signed. I don't even want the label in my pockets. I don't want they ass in my business. Get the fuck back, period. Which which <laughs> which females are supportive, though? Like, it got to be some that's supportive. Yeah, okay. All the girls supportive. Like okay. I said, I fuck with Tate. Yeah. I fuck with John Doe. Um, I fuck with the city girls. We love the city girls. I fuck with Meg real hard. I love Meg. Hell yeah. I fuck with Dreezy. Hell yeah. Literally everybody. Like, for the most part, I fuck with Rico, Nasty. Asian I dog? fuck with Cali. I fuck with Asian. Okay. I fuck with, that's what I'm saying. I fuck with everybody. We all done had our conversations. Me and Asian made a song. Um, We never dropped it, though. I I never tried to drop it, though. We mm. both never tried to drop it. But Why not? Um, I don't know. I think time. So it's like gotcha. we had made the song too around the time I got pregnant. So it's just like <laughs> a lot pregnancy. of shit happened around the pregnancy. She wanted to Cali <laughs> made masks on, <laughs> made babies. No, I had made the I had made the songs out here actually. Oh okay, yeah, okay. Me, Asian and me and Lotto had made the songs out here. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah, so it was like summer 2019, and that's when I had made the song with Tate too. Got you, yeah. But I dropped baby the Tate. song with Tate. Yeah, I love Tate. Tate hard. But yeah, mm. it's hard. I mean, it's love with all of them. Like when they come and. Perform in Chicago, they bring me out. Like Lotto, okay. I was just brought out on Lotto tour when she came out that last year. Oh shit! But she ain't bring, she, she, she ain't bring me out. Callie brought me out. Oh, Callie, Callie, yeah, Callie. Look at y'all trying to say, look, fuck with Callie. Nah, but but that's why I'm saying it ain't no B. Yeah, because Lotto ain't say, oh Queen Key, hell no, she can't. You know, it ain't it ain't nothing like that. It's nothing. Communication. But the thing is. When people say don't take shit personal, it's so hard not to like mm-hmm. to keep it strictly business when this is when this is your life. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, no, literally, like, like, cause like I said, I'm not signed. I'm not a yeah, gimmick. Right. I did this shit to change my motherfucking life and to yeah. do what I'm supposed to do because it's my purpose. So right. that's why it's just I kind of be taking shit another way because it's like I don't have like no boss. Like ain't nobody setting this shit up for me. Ain't right. nobody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't 
it's just different. So it's like, if a bitch really play me, it's like, bitch, you really playing me. You're yeah. not playing my label. You're not playing. Yeah. This is right, me. Right. Like, what the fuck? I get it. And and I know, uh, was it, it was Cardi and Meg, they supported your, your uh, freestyle to the WAP, right? Uh-huh, yeah. So talk yeah, about yeah. that. So they support it. Yeah. Okay. The, I, a lot of the girls, they support. I'm telling you, Lotto, this the only motherfucker. I know, I got you. I was, I listen, <laughs> I got you. I'm telling y'all, this is the only time this shit that happened to yeah. me because it's really love with me and all the girls. For but sure. I know this industry shit get tricky. It you know do. what I'm saying? And like I said, when I was dropping, uh, when I was trying to drop the song, this was around the time when she was turning up. And got I know how that you. shit is. All these lame ass motherfuckers right. in your ear. Motherfuckers, like I said, I'm the competition. They niggas be broke and they be trying to live off a bitch and all kind of shit. So that's real shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers, <laughs> I'm sure they was in her ear, all that kind of shit. They trying to paint me as the enemy and all mm. this shit. So that's cool. That's understandable. It's just the only thing I would say is she just didn't communicate nothing with me. Yeah. No, I but, understand that communication yeah, is everything. But it ain't shit. Like I don't want shit bad. Like I'm, I'm happy for her. Like all the shit she doing. Like that shit lit. That shit for raw. Sure. Like, like get yours. I just don't understand why the fuck. Mm. You know. It ain't shit though. Okay, so with the with Cardi and Megan supporting though the, <laughs> with the freestyle, like talk about that moment for you. Yeah. Now nah, that was lit as fuck. Um, I actually had that shit. That was lit. I knew they was gonna post me though for a couple. Okay, weeks. okay period. So, yeah, I be knowing certain shit. For That's sure. what I'm trying to tell y'all. Like I be for sure. For I motherfucking perseverance, goddamn. For it. Sure. I can see this shit through. But um, yeah. So I had remixed it. First of all, when I heard it, um, I was. <sighs> I was with Excel. I loved yeah. it. Yeah, that, that shit was hard. Was crazy. I'm like, what? Music I, I'm video? like, hold the fuck on. I I love that this. shit was hard as fuck. The video, all that shit, that shit inspired the fuck out of me. Yes, I said, ma'am. this how a bitch supposed to do it. Yeah. This the shit that I have a little girl watch and be like, I want to be a female rapper. Like, Type this shit. the shit. I'm like, yes, I just loved it. Like, mm. the colors, everything. Yeah, the fucking beat hard. holes in this house. I'm like, come on, this is right mm-hmm. up my motherfucking alley. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> this shit is perfect for me. So, yeah, shit, I ripped that bitch. I hopped on it. I think I had posted. I don't even remember, like, the fucking order of how I did the shit. I think I had posted a clip of it. Mm. And then the clip had went up. I think I posted a clip, and pa- and Cardi was like, she just said, she put it on a story. She was like, she just said, pussy so good, her kids triplets. I'm okay. Po- then she say, I'm posting her tomorrow. Mm. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's, okay, okay. Because, uh, no, I said I'm going to remix it, and Cardi liked it. That's how I knew she was going to post you. it once I actually did it. Got mm-hmm. you. So when she liked it, I took it upon myself. I rounded up the troops, goddammit. <laughs> we, I made that song, shot that video in about one day and a half. I had God my baby. Man. I got a Sprinter. We got on that motherfucking Sprinter. We drive like an hour out from uh, my house. We was in like a far-ass suburb in mm. Illinois somewhere. Girl got an Airbnb. When I get to the Airbnb, they tell me I can't get in the power out. I said, bitch, I just traveled an hour with triplets in this bitch. Okay. Yeah. Trip took the kids. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm saying. I had to. I ain't yeah. had no babysitter, nothing. I ain't had time to wait. I'm like, bitch, look, Cardi just like the shit. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta do I it. Got to, I got to go. For sure. You can't waste no time. Yeah, I ain't no waiting show. on no motherfucker. Everybody <laughs> who coming, come the fuck on. Right. Yeah. Now, Straight I'm telling up. y'all to the extreme how serious this shit is. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when they told me that, I'm like, oh, fuck. So I looked up. I'm just thinking, I'm thinking. I looked up like the nearest hotel. Girl, I found the nearest hotel. We checked up in that bitch. I got two rooms, one like for uh, me, my friends, or whatever, and then one for my baby. And I had my cousin there too, my cousin and her friend, to hold the baby. For sure, that's what's up. For sure. And then yeah, I rented like a conference room. So like in the beginning of the video, how it's like that little table yep. and shit. That was in the hotel conference room. Got you. Okay. And we made that shit work. We made that shit work. That's and hard, man. We stayed there. And then in the morning, the Airbnb nigga, he like the power working. Nigga. So we literally shot more of the video there. Mm. But, cause I planned on having that shit done one day, next of day. But I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Let me go ahead and get some more scenes yeah. up in the Airbnb. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we just did it like that. Nah, that's, that's why hard. There, there ain't no excuses. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you gotta be ready for the opportunity. You, Facts. you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, because I dropped that clip. She put it on her story and was like, it's lit. I'm posting this tomorrow. She said, Pussy so good, my kids trip. I said, Say <laughs> less, you posting it tomorrow? Yeah. Mm. Perfect. I don't think, well, I 
like I don't think people understand how crazy it was for t- her to even put artists in at the end of her video. That and shit it, was hard. And it literally was like two seconds, yep. right? And these two seconds changed every one of those artists' Girl's lives. Life. Yep. That was you in know that what I'm video. And yep. Like that, I never, and I might, you know, I'm just thinking off the top, I've never really seen nobody currently doing Not that. Not on the current shit. Like, and, and, Not currently. And it's kind of like, yo. Not I'm the not, GOAT. Right, right, right. And it's crazy, right, right. like the bitches that's older than us. Yeah, like, it's not no verse or nothing, right. but that's let me just thing. put you on this. A list. look. That's all look. it took, right. y'all. Because at the end of the day, like, female, the female rappers, like all of us, the peers, we all be collabing and of shit. Of course. Like, of all course. the girls, it's all kind of shit, featuring, featuring. But when it comes to them bitches older than us, yeah. mm-hmm. they not really showing us no yeah. love. Mm. But that's really like that petty bitch, petty catty female. Girls. Female rapper shit. Like, that's really how that shit is. And mm. it's really so sad because I don't even know if they understand how we perceive them. Yeah. Like, we don't even. Well, I know me personally. I don't even look at a bitch 10, 20 years older than me, like, you my competition, right, like, right. we neck and neck, we side by side. Right. Girl, your ass is old, girl. You my OG. Yeah, yeah. for real though, you old, like, I don't even look at you like that, like, I'm, I should be little sis, like, so yeah. facts, I don't facts, look at facts. you like my competition, none of that, like, period. Facts. And it's just weird to me how that's how, that's how the female rapper shit is, though, like, everybody mm. is, like, catty. I think it's changing a little oh, bit. Oh, it's changing because of us. It's a I'm lot saying, of the older bitches on yeah, show. I agree. It ain't no. Yeah. It's not a Chicago female rapper that's like an OG that's like putting on for the girls. The brat don't be or showing like, love. <laughs> who? The brat. The brat is from Chicago. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, I'm being silly, but no, I know <laughs> she ain't like active, active, but yeah, but yeah, it's facts. And it's like I don't. That's I facts. don't know if they understand that that's low key day job. Right, like, it's not right. y'all job to be in y'all forties and fifties and dropping songs. But you know what, the OGs, that's real shit though. The OGs, yeah, in general, he just, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's no, that's not, a good one. I'm saying it, I ain't saying that on no different. Yeah, None, it's just the truth. Right, when you're forty, everything has a appropriate, absolutely you know what I'm saying, time and age and time and fucking place. You, absolutely, you're not supposed to be fifty years old dropping a single as the same bitch, a bitch my <laughs> age or whatever the fuck. Thinking yeah. you're neck and neck, you're not. Like you supposed to be more so holding our hands, trying to show us how to do Facts. some shit, teaching us, taking on like a motherly type of role, like a big sister, like not a fucking competition, my yeah. rival or nothing. Like, so bitch, you're older than me. I like what I like what Nikki is doing with Ice Spice. I like that. Oh yeah, so I is, like that. Is Ice Spice her first artist? Yeah, I yeah, like that. I, I like Spice that. Is her that's what? I was her saying. artist. Oh really? Yeah, that's they got. Well, they have a situation. They have a situation now. I okay. like that. That's cool. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That's cool. But yeah. I feel you. I do think it. I think they can release music, but still. Is that her first? What's the situation? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. They have a situation. Signed, she already signed, but they got a yeah. situation though. Like she said, yeah. she gonna be her first female artist on her label. So I don't know what it is. That's her first like partnership with a girl. That's what she said. But that ain't like that ain't like her first. Her only. only yeah, yeah. Now she got other artists and shit. Yeah. But yeah, I think OGs in general <laughs> have missed they mark. Like even with the young, with the dude, like just True. young street dudes. True. They only like, want to give it up or something. Like, <laughs> it's like, I think that generation missed they mark. Like. Let's they don't understand they old now. Well, that's probably. why we lost. Like, like, nah, for real though. Mm-hmm. For stupid exactly. Shit. Ain't no, OG, ain't nobody telling nobody how to be like a, a oh, good wow. influence or a good role model. Ain't nobody in their fifties or forties really doing that shit for mm-hmm. us. Gucci unintentionally did it. Unintentionally, mm-hmm. unintentionally. But I'm saying, but I'm the Real reason. Gucci the reason why I say <laughs> that though. Listen, <laughs> the reason why I say that though, y'all, because. Think about it. Think about all the niggas that Gucci was putting on these songs. Yeah. I'm not saying he was teaching them like how to be men. He yeah. was giving them niggas exposure oh, though. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I'll say that. Wait, what niggas you talking about? Like if we think about all the niggas like Thug, Rich Homie, like he was Pee Wee, he was Gucci putting put all them up. Go, hell, Migos, everybody, yeah. Scooter, yeah. like Gucci, put all Gucci them up? did. That's no, some, no, he was. But but I'm not saying that he was teaching them how to be men. But he did get him a chance. No, period. So I feel he did. like no, I feel like Gucci and I feel like that's kind of the same like that's kind of the same generation a little bit to me 
Okay. Like, I don't. Okay. What do you think? I, oh, I, like, okay. No, okay. I, I feel like <laughs> that's I feel fair. like it that's should fair. be a nigga like that's fair. That's fair. I feel like where's a nigga like <laughs> she's looking at the table. You look yeah, at the table. Where's a nigga <laughs> like? Um, I don't know these niggas ages, but like a Master P or I see what you saying. Uh, E forty that would talk to somebody Ooh. like Gucci. I see you know what, what you saying? saying. I ain't even okay. saying that Gucci is the OG. I got you. I'm I saying Gucci low key the flame motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm out of <laughs> here. She don't say the flame. No, I'm just now, that's saying the real, real the OG yeah. OG. Yeah. Okay, what the fuck like. Well, and I'll say this. This is what I love about what y'all doing now because y'all not mm-hmm. afraid to put motherfuckers in the game. Like how you said, Callie, sh- you know, show you love Everybody and shit. Everybody extend I, I fuck with that. And I think, honestly, it's because it's a new day and age with social media and music. I think before it wasn't as simple. And I'm not excusing and everybody it. everybody was all scared. Yeah, scared because. They gonna lose some shit. A motherfucker gonna yeah, take their Yeah, don't like, let another now, girl be better than you. Yeah, now right. I feel like motherfuckers, it, it's sinking in their brain that right. like. It's gonna be a lot of motherfuckers getting shined. So you either you need gonna to, shine with a bitch, or you yeah. gonna get left behind, or you gonna get left behind, or because it's like at this point joining forces. Yep. Like I said, you gonna shine with somebody. Either that, or just because you don't want to shine with a motherfucker, you gonna dim your own shit. Right. So it's just like, well, let's be real. Like six years ago, it had to be one or two hot female artists. Now it is the time of the artists. As a DJ in the club. I don't feel like it had to, why did it have to be like that? That's just. Cause I ain't even know. Um, like all us, we breaking that shit because we don't think it have to be like y'all that. are. Like, but look, like you said, like record labels when they were in it's control. It's not right. It's the record labels. It ain't the artists. Shit. It was it's a lot of shit. politics. But it's some weird shit. True. And it's some weird energy. Yeah. It's really all that hate women ass. True. Weird yeah. ass controlling ass shit like that 1950 shit. <laughs> That's what that shit is. Girls are so, nice okay, so Key, no so no <laughs> you independent now, and that's huge yeah, because yeah, I'm, I'm always on some oh, shit. Yeah. If you can put together a team, stay independent, see all your money, I'm big on that. Hell yeah. Now, at one yeah. point, was you was you signed to G Herbo? Hell no, nah, no. Nah, why nah. why people say you was signed to G Herbo? Who the fuck said that? Nah, we was label mates. Got you. We was signed to the same nigga. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't sign a nigga my age. Okay. Yeah, no. I was going to ask why hey, you yeah, sign. Okay, I know I was going to ask. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't play about that yeah, age. Listen. 40 plus for me to <laughs> You got to be an OG. <laughs> Yo, Say that. I don't play about that age. I don't play with no No, I respect kid. that. So yeah. what was the advantage or disadvantage to being signed? Because it sounds like you're really happy on being, you know. Not signed. Yeah, <laughs> but it also is a lot of work. So yeah, that's what cool did you go shit. through? What, you must have went through mm. something. Hell yeah, girl. I went through it all. God damn it. Mm. I went through that shit that's going to ensure that I'm going to have a movie made about me one day. Mm. That's what the fuck I went through. Like you what? know what I'm saying? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying because so many people. I went through a lot. It's just my, they just wasn't doing shit how they were supposed to do it. Like when mm. I was independent. I was dropping like 30 songs a year, mm. minimum. Videos every other week. Boom, boom, boom. And right. this me. Yeah. This me putting this shit together. Little ass girl, 20, 21, 19. Mm. So it's like for me to join forces with grown ass niggas and my <laughs> shit slow down, yeah. that pissed me the fuck off. Yeah. Like bad. So it really was like I was trying to really get the fuck away from them months after being signed. Mm. Once they showed me after my first project, once they didn't keep their word, it was like, oh, hell. Mm. It was just like they the whole first year of me seeing them not keep their word and just all this shit. It was like, what the fuck did mm. I just That sucks, man. Do? Yeah. And that's why I was just just finding joy and other little shit. Oh, bro, just, I was just a wild girl. Like, <laughs> I just, Say I that. I wasn't focused, though. I wasn't focused on the music. So mm. I wasn't seeing my shit. I wasn't even knowing See what you said. How my shit was doing nothing. These mm. niggas making it seem like, I ain't no shit whole time. I'm down there one of the hottest bitches type shit in this shit. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. but niggas haters and shit. So they trying to they downplaying my shit and shit, mm-hmm. confusing me and shit. I'm not even knowing. You know what I'm saying? Just like, cause how I work is, I try to make my last shit my best. Like sure. that was always my thing. So I would look at how my last thing did and just how people, you know. But it's like. If I'm just blindly creating, I ain't seeing my numbers. I ain't seeing shit. Yeah. Niggas lying about this, mm. sending me off about this. Mm. Bitch, after a while, it's like, what the fuck? So, yeah. How'd you get out of that? Yeah. <laughs> Exposing ass. Mm. That's how I get out of anything. Exposing. <laughs> 
Let's be clear. Yeah. If I want to get rid of a motherfucker, <laughs> bitch, I'm going to expose your ass. Get say the that. fuck. Say that. Leave me alone. Yeah. Real shit. I will holla. I will open my big ass mouth. Everybody, <laughs> this motherfucker is messing with me. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone. For real though, like I, like if you don't want me doing that crazy to you, for real, like you you just gonna want me to tell on you, like you just gonna want me to tell the people, not the police. Yeah, but yeah, you gonna, yeah, yeah. You just gonna want me to tell the people on you, period. Yeah, Cause the people funny. riding for me. So I'm gonna just sure. like I'm gonna expose your ass, or really, it was just the truth. Motherfucker ain't want no smoke. You mm. know what I'm saying, like. Cause niggas know they be, you know, niggas be knowing when they foul and when they wrong and yeah. shit. And I did kind of, you know, send my expose them a little bit. Cause I was just really reaching a breaking point. Mm. Because first it was like, I wasn't seeing my numbers and shit, but they were still doing little shit. I was still getting paid little monthly shit mm. still. So it was still some little shit to keep a bitch right. kind of cool. Mm. But it was like after, <laughs> but then it was like after a while, Mm. You know, niggas start getting mad and shit and just start, you know, being in their chest about whatever they in their chest about. And a lot of shit has stopped. Like, motherfuckers start trying to just literally stop my shit. Like, stop my music, stop my money, just right. everything. So it's like, oh, so now you trying to, like, you trying to, like, provoke a psychotic bitch <laughs> to come about this motherfucker. Okay, let's be clear. So, yeah, I end up doing, like, no crazy shit in the physical or nothing. So I just... I exposed motherfucker like, hey y'all, they ain't treating me right. Get me the fuck out of here. It's finna go up in two minutes <laughs> if these niggas don't release me. <laughs> it's finna go the fuck down in this bitch. Let's be so, clear. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes you just gotta. So they released you? Or? Hell yeah. Wow. Hell they yeah. They like, man, we can't hey, work for her. We can't handle that smoke. Yep, I'm a they can't handle I'm that crazy. smoke. Yep. Oh, yep. And you, and All you that. don't uh, mind? Me, bye. Okay fuck like i had to leave a lot of shit i re-uploaded a lot of my um mm, old music but mm. i had to leave a lot of that shit like a lot of that shit they still even got like all yeah. that you know mm. definitely a lot of little unfinished business but that's okay though that's mm. okay peace of mind that's okay because i'm free and i'm for moving sure. forward and shit been just transpiring for me just everything getting better and better and fucking better so it's like Let's sometimes be clear. you really just Gotta take that real leap on faith. Yep. Yeah. And just let that shit go. Mm. And just, yeah, just turn up. Just just kind of start over. But but you start over better. You yeah. start over with a head start. You start over with more like knowledge. Yeah. In a better position. Just all kind of shit. You just show sure. that, that shit though. in you. That shit in you. So yeah. nobody can stop that. Facts. So fast forward. We got this new EP, surviving. Queen Key. Now yeah. we got to talk about the title because it's like, damn, like the title funny as fuck because it's like, damn, <laughs> like surviving toxic. Queen Key. Yeah, it's it sounds toxic. toxic as hell, but talk about that title though. And you I like that PIMP record. I like that joint. Yeah. I like that joint. I like that joint. That shit hard. Yeah. That shit hard. I like that <laughs> one for sure. Um, bro, but yeah, um, it was literally, literally inspired by this fucking dude I used to work with. Mm. He's such a fucking punk ass bitch eater ass nigga mm. and yeah Damn. he basically fucking ran a broke ass facebook let me just say this right now to anybody who get on facebook cool fuck you whatever but i personally feel like come on now did we not establish that facebook was dirty as hell in like 20 i don't know when i was in high school like what you mean nigga, like, niggas, stop getting on Facebook. Like, we start getting on Twitter. It's a family I, business page. Yeah, I feel, I feel like, I feel like, all your, I feel like your cousins, your yeah, auntie, yeah, like, motherfuckers exactly. on Facebook, family. you had it. Family, like, yeah. family, You family. ain't, like, your real person yeah, on yeah, yeah. Facebook. Yeah, 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 I feel like that's, like, you got your real name on there. You don't even have yeah. a social media name on mm -hmm, there, motherfucker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like motherfuckers really wasn't even on Facebook. Now they definitely own it more. Yeah. But, yeah, anyways, his bottom of the barrel ass he <laughs> runs to facebook literally fucking post my message mm. he's a fucking lame first of all i was only asking a bitch could he do a motherfucking like a video for me right because um i do my key plus three vlog yeah mm -hmm. so and this is my first time telling this story to the detail too i don't even give a fuck i'm gonna just tell it because i don't give a fuck but i do my key plus three vlogs i told him like he be charging like 1500 
for a video. Maybe. He really, he'll do my shit for free. But I told him, like, you know what? I just want to vlog. Um, my budget, $1,000. It ain't all the shit you usually do. But he also be trying to, like, practice with, like, TV and film and shit. Mm. I'm like, this will be a plus for you. Shit, you could learn some little TV film type shit. Like, I'm on some positive shit. Like, I'm like, mm -hmm. I'm being nice as hell. He don't even text me back. So now, day pass, I'm with, I'm with this other nigga. We drinking this shit. And we get to talking about my key plus three, and he, we bring it up, and I get reminded that the nigga ain't text me back. Mm -hmm. So I text that bitch. I say, bitch, your ass gonna be a bitch to the day you motherfucking die. Uh. Why that bitch <laughs> screenshot my shit? Post me on Facebook. No. A five-page motherfucking essay. No. Oh, Queen Key. Oh, she's such this horrible, evil person. This is how she treats people that she works with. Oh, shit. She sent me this at 3 a.m. And all I did, I just because lit. I didn't he reply. Uh -huh. <laughs> just because I didn't reply to her message. Man, you, this nigga was eating my ass, though. Like, nigga, you was whole obsessed with me. Like, we was, fuck we was fucking around, and he was obsessed with me. I had to Period. break free from this man. Anybody who was close to me, they know he was stalking me. Like, mm. I'll be in a club. He on the other side of the club. He got that thing. He attacks me like, look up or some shit. Boy, oh, yo, he a, that's why I see. Hell no. Nah, don't be why, texting me, but look up. Mm -mm. That's why I'm like, saying. But, but niggas don't like, say that part. They don't say that they part. They leave that they shit out. They make it seem like, oh, this bitch just like on some yeah. Brazilla type shit. She just crazy. <laughs> Anybody she work with, she just evil as hell. I didn't text her back, so now I'm a bitch until I die. Mm -hmm. When really, nigga, you a bitch until you die because you didn't do this video because you don't want to do nothing for me and my kids because you still fucked up about it that I got kids. You still hurt mm -hmm. that I even got kids because when I got pregnant, I had niggas. Like, come on now, I wasn't fucking hella niggas Let's and be shit. Clear. But I had niggas. I was single. Okay. Fuck. So it's niggas that feelings was hurt because I got kids Hold to on. the core, literally. So this is a dude you was talking to before you got pregnant. Yeah. And then... And then you wanted him to record you and your triplets. Yeah, I don't get no phone. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? What the hell? It's work to be done. Gee, this shit is big. Gee, this That's shit. That's why I fuck with Keto. This shit is big. She my spirit animal like a motherfucking what? boy. I be like, man. Big time. <laughs> what's the, wait, what's the problem? I'm just saying. He, he was, ain't probably he was, her. He gonna be crying like. Uh. <laughs> they look just like they daddy. <laughs> Uh, so that's something for he gonna be crying as he filming that shit. Damn. Damn. Like they Damn. I didn't think I well <laughs> I didn't think about it like that because yeah. I, I'm thinking like nigga, me you and you both money. single. True. I didn't been in your close friends. I see you fucking bitches. Oh yeah, he tripping. Yeah, that's my He thing. tripping. But you I, know, it's, dudes, our relationship true. very open. It ain't like it ain't true. none of that. Like I said, nigga, I didn't see you fuck a bitch. Like I don't care. Like. Yeah. It, it ain't that like yeah we fucked around but then we had like years break type yeah, shit okay. so where it's like nigga we cool we friends yeah. we you know what i'm saying like that sh should be what the fuck is understood type shit so it's like that's why i called him a bitch because it's like damn nigga you i thought we was cool it. folks <laughs> so you still in your feelings about my kid at the bitch, we didn't made amends. I didn't seen Ooh, you fucking bitches. That's very kind. I didn't been in a close friend. I didn't gave you your passes. Oh, but now when it's time to do some real shit, niggas yeah. can't take that. Yeah, though. Can. Niggas can't take they that. Can give it all day. Niggas look, 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 look y'all can't they take can. that. They can't take it. They can't. They can't. And they have to learn that. Third niggas. So Third okay, niggas. they Respect. think like they can take it. True. Yeah. And that's where I be True. fucking up because I be actually believing they stupid. Hell ass. nah. But now I'm never, I'm never believing a nigga again when, if he <laughs> act like he could take it. If he say he could take it, I'm never believing you, bitch. I'm For never sure. believing you. Because all the niggas who I really got into it with was niggas who act like they could take it. That's why Never I was just openly doing whatever. But then I clash with a motherfucker because I do some shit they can't take. Mm, that's real shit. They done met they match okay. with you. So with this project, how is it different from the... Oh, oh, oh. Okay. oh that's where we at the, Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. So, so at the end of his five-page uh, essay, essay yeah. he puts... Surviving Queen Key. Ooh, yeah, that's all. I love it. I that's love all. it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, I love it. He was pissed. He's sick. He's sick. He's sick right now. He's sick.
Damn. Thanks. But once again, nigga, I told the, you, nigga, the title, I'm here to make some money with you. That's it. That title was fire. I'm still ideas from you, bitch. No, that title was That's fire, though. That title was That's fire. That's what I'm saying. That shit fire. Thank you once again, nigga. Yeah. Thanks for, you, he stuck to the script this time. Yeah. Damn. Period. He mad as fuck right now. He watching so, his man. We worked. <laughs> so talk about that, though. Like, you know, you got the um, eat my pussy, eat my pussy again, your highness. Um... How is this project different from those? And, like, talk about your mindset for each of those projects, too. So, for this one, this is my first independent one. Gotcha. First independent one that I'm selling. Yeah. I did Ooh. independent mixtapes and shit. Mm. But just, this is the first one where it's, like, it's my dollar. I funded everything. Yes, and ma'am. Everything going to me. Yes, ma'am. You know what I'm saying? This that generational wealth shit. Yeah. It's like, yeah. this is going to be here for the baby Hell type yeah. shit. Like, this one of them, I own my masters and all that. So, so, we so love that's it. the difference in this. We you love know what it. I'm saying? And that's just real important for me. Everything, I'm doing shit the right way. I ain't even playing with nobody. For sure. So, yeah, um, that's really just the main difference. And I made a lot of this song, these songs in my crib, like I turned my garage mm. into like a studio. Okay. And I like came up with all these songs in like a week, couple Damn. weeks. And I had just locked in. Like my garage was a little cold, all kind of shit. I put a heater in that bitch. <laughs> okay. I ain't even get no fuck. I just was locked in in that bitch. Tad sure. as hell. I ain't even, I ain't give a fuck. That's dope. And yeah, I made the songs, made the projects. Mm. I did some videos. I released two of the videos. I got two more to release mm. that I shot. Um, yeah, I did the Key Plus 3 shit. Mm -hmm. My ass been traveling. I just been doing all kind of shit. I did what I learned from the labels plus yep. what I want to do as yep. an artist. So, like, yeah, all that mandatory, mandatory label shit mm -hmm. that artists be doing. But then also what I know the people like and yeah. what I like and yep. shit. So. That's why me being independent is the perfect fucking balance. Hell yeah. I like that, uh, the never, was it never cry? Yeah, never mm. cry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because you was, I just thought like you could uh, understand you mm. more than just mm. talking shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it was mm. like really understanding you. And I even seen like you had the caption of the lyrics, the, um, Six baths. Yeah. So I was like, mm. damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, letting you, some shit register yeah, people. Yeah, like, like, yeah. Yesterday, yeah. <laughs> like, damn, I sometimes got three you kids, really, that's six baths. Like, yeah, sometimes, <laughs> yeah, sometimes you really got to, like, break it down for a yeah, motherfucker yeah. so they really, like, understand, like, yeah, this is real life. Like, hell yeah. I like, I like baths, that, yeah. Same. So. yeah. And I really came up with that. I made Never Cry probably in, like, 30 minutes. I was just blasting the beat repeatedly, repeatedly. Because mm. I don't even write my music. I just blast the song, and I just memorize that shit in my head and just Damn. keep going. That's dope. Impressive. So, yeah. and, impressive, I mean, like, like my shit. X. Because it starts with an E. For it's sure. Like, impressive. Okay. Impressive. I mean, and one, thing, <laughs> one thing I think that people can take away from you, though, like, is like, like Excel said earlier, don't make no excuses. Like, you have three kids, and still you out in Atlanta, you out in other places, yeah. Doing what you need to do and handling your business. There's people with no kids that's and lazy, lazy as, as fuck. fuck. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I respect you like off exactly. of that. Like Thank it's you. you ain't got one kid, you got three, and, and you still handling same, your business. At the yeah. same time. At the so same that's time. What we gotta talk about, we gotta talk about the babies. Yeah. Now okay. that's crazy. With the that's I, I think it was the was it um uh, let me see what we'll cover the Your Highness two or three. 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 I had them on it, yeah. They was on the cover. And now in previous I had songs. To have it. In previous songs, you was talking about, like, I ain't got no kids, is it right? <laughs> but in the, in, the, in the three, you said, like, you got them on the cover. So, like, yeah, yeah. let's talk about the babies. God like, God said, listen. First yeah, of all, right? you bragging so, too it's much. It's so funny, right? <laughs> that's just my ass. I was the only girl in my family that made it to 21 and didn't get pregnant. So wow. that's why I said that. Like, every all, wow. every other girl in my family got pregnant in their teens mm. or at least, like, by 20 mm, yeah. or at least by 21. Yeah, I was 21 and I ain't had no kids, so that was like a stamp for me. Like I, I'm like, period, it's on. I got zero fucking children. What's up? I'm still in the game. I didn't watch y'all. I'm still in the game. Teenage mamas, <laughs> goddamn it, my whole damn life. I didn't watch y'all. I didn't been y'all damn babysitters my whole life. Type shit. Y'all was young as hell with kids. I didn't seen this. But what God do to you? But he ain't making you no know, teenage mama. He <laughs> made you mm -hmm. at the right time. I'm 23. That's period. Like, bitch, you grown. Period. 23. You cool? Shit. No, it's just period. real shit. It was a perfect time. It, it ain't need to be a second earlier, right. not a second later. Yeah. That shit at the per it because it wouldn't need to be me right now with no right. Uh, newborn. Right. right. And it wouldn't need to be right, me, right, right. You know, when I was 21 or yeah. 20. No, it was like it was a perfect time when I was 23. That was a perfect battle. Let's let's talk about the the. Uh, the pregnancy though, like, 
How is that? Did you did you do it like through? Or did you, see, no, okay, no, I was about to say, how did that no, work? My pussy's still the same. I'm okay, cool. Because I'm okay, like, cool, oh, just shit. check it. Just check it. Make <laughs> sure. Gucci check. Okay, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> listen, but I'm, three, I'm three? actually kind of scared of that, even though, you yeah. know, scientifically, you know, everybody say, you know, you, you should go back. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's kind of that's frightening. Wild. You know, I'm not no back. loose pussy ass <laughs> bitch. Like, my shit's tight as hell. Period. So we love I don't like cat. that. Frightening a little to think about a big ass body coming out my pussy. <laughs> Woo! That's why God knew just get this bitch a triple stack. <laughs> She good. Cut her ass open. Get them out. But hold don't on. Even, How? Look, look, pussy, don't even touch her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How? <laughs> yeah. Straight up. Straight up. Straight Keep the up. pussy good. Keep the pussy good. Straight up. But how um, did you first react when you found out mm. like, you had triplets? Because I'm not going to lie. Like, as a lesbian, right? <laughs> like, when we talk about artificial insemination, like, sometimes the odds are that you're going to get twins. True. When they, like... That when the doctors do it, right? Mm. So I'll be like, I ain't trying to fuck around and get I'll like, if you get inserted. Yeah. So yeah, everybody so, thought I had, it's called in vitro or something. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, y'all motherfuckers <laughs> think I got them putting me besides <laughs> from a dick? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> but how did you feel when you realized you had triplets? And does that run in your family? No. Twins, twins do. Oh, but see, now, there so we go. I really thought, there we go. Though. I ain't gonna lie. I knew I knew it was God. Cause y'all gotta understand. I was a, I'm a wild. I was <laughs> you my spirit animal. I, was I get it. Wild. I get it. You know what I'm saying? And y'all know how people be like, I get it, one God. baby supposed to change your life. Yeah. yeah. And people and God <laughs> and they say God bless you with a baby and change. Your life. So bitch, imagine how much I needed to be blessed if I needed three. <laughs> God said blessing, blessing, blessing. And you know how they say you get a girl if this yep. or a boy. Yep. Give a boy. <laughs> bitch need two boys and get a bitch a girl. Are your boys from, like identical? Yep, I got two Ooh. boys. Boys identical, and then my girl, she fraternal. She was in a whole wow. other set. That's wow. what I'm saying. Wow. Now that's some that's shit. What I'm saying. That's like, some what shit. What was your reaction when they was like, "It's three. Three. I literally thought it was the funniest shit ever. <laughs> I couldn't wait to do pranks and tell everybody and get their reaction. Real shit. Because I wouldn't believe you neither. If you my people, I wouldn't have believed you. I was the one girl who nobody without her. That's like you popping up with motherfucking triplets. Wow. Triplets. Wow. <laughs> wow. Fuck y'all. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, yeah. that was just my style. Like, I want hell no. Nah. Yeah. God damn it, hell no. Nah. Yeah. It was just a hell no. Nah. Yeah. Like, period. Touch hell no. Nah. So, wow. yeah, but I was relieved also because I was really sick. Mm. And I thought it was only one baby at Got first. You. So, when I was all crazy sick with one baby, I thought something was wrong. I'm like, oh, shit, bitch. I'm finna die. What the fuck? I, mm. I'm asking my mom. I'm like, you had five kids, bitch. You didn't tell me. <laughs> All this was happening. I feel like I'm fucking deteriorate. Like, damn. Like, I'm breaking down in this bitch. But, you but got three? Yeah, he told me I was sick like that. The doctor. Of uh, course, you got to do, like, eating and shit for ooh. three, four. Yeah. Damn. How, how is it, like, in terms of, like, the financial part? Because it's like, when we think about school, clothing, food, all that shit. I don't think about it. Okay. <laughs> no. I only think about it for real. I just handle that shit. For real, though. Straight I up. Handle that straight shit. up. And I, I be prepared, period. I'm prepared. I, I think I'm doing, like, real good. Like, straight up. I handle them great. Like, even financially. Like, they don't want shit. They don't need shit. My That's baby's up, good. Man. Like, they straight. It's actually, okay. <laughs> I actually be, like, it be little moments where I sit back. Like, when we had finished the Never Cry video shoot, mm. I had sat back like, damn, that's raw as hell. I really just pulled that shit all together. Like, Straight I really up. just bought all the shit. Like, everything. Everything mm. for this video came from my pocket. Mm. Getting my babies together, making sure everybody's here. Mm. Any help that was here, just anything was funded by me. And I'm still good. And Amen. I'm still good. I still pay my bills. I am still get what the fuck I want. Like, I don't look. Fucked up, like none of like I'm still good, and that's really God though. Amen. That's God. That's Yo, what y'all need to know. That shit ain't me. That's <laughs> God. Man. Straight up. Nah, I'm straight up. And mom, that's God. Like, like uh, baby, that shit halfway impossible. It's damn near impossible. Nah, moms alone, S fucking superheroes. And for real. Nah, for real. And like you said, you don't think about it, you just do it. So like, did your kids make you want to go harder? Mm. Hell yeah, my kids got to. My kids like, was why I made myself get released. Mm. Like, ain't no talking. I have to be released. Mm. Y'all not giving me my money, bitch. I have to go. Mm -hmm. I have kids. 
Mm-hmm. I'm not finna play with y'all. Y'all can't give me no little whatever the fuck. Yeah. And you know, I go this place, I cloud. Right. Bitch, I got kids. I need to be in a home stability. Straight up. My, you know what I'm saying? Comfortable, like, ain't all no bouncing all around. Cause a lot of rappers do that. They right. be all unhappy. Right. Fucking labels, sending them off. Now it's like. Real talk. Then they try to butter them up, send a motherfucking flight to that place. Now you in the studio in LA for a week. Mm hmm. Running mm. up this big dumbass tab, bitch. I'm not playing what with y'all. Playing for straight yeah. up. I'm not doing that, bitch. I got three kids, and unless you want them fucking you up when they get up, <laughs> hunting your ass down, turn into John Wick in this bitch. I would advise you to either <laughs> let me go. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it. A lot of shit don't really be no discussion. It be life or death. Like nigga, look. Right. Like for real. Like I ain't playing because I'm the only one who take care of my babies. I was gonna so ask I that. Going. I ain't going. Like. So if we if we pay attention to social media and like I said I'm a big interview person uh-huh. so we know you know baby daddy is he there? I call that bitch no baby daddy. Mm-hmm. You know that hoe ain't there, and I don't call That's him no crazy. baby daddy. I just got three babies. I hate that. Yeah, you know. and then it's so crazy because that is crazy to me. So I was with my friend and he was just showing me a picture of some nigga on Instagram and he's like he like posting his baby mama like oh this bitch a cheater then he posting videos of the son. I'm sorry, son. It's gonna be so fucked up that I'm never seeing you again. Oh hell no! Nah. But but I'm saying that to say niggas be fucked up about the bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Some niggas can't take not getting some pussy from you, being around you, not being with you, not fucking with you, but still taking care of their business like their child. They can't even see it. They blinded by the shit. If they don't get the bitch, yep. fuck the kid. Yeah. These these niggas be wanting the bitch. They don't want. That's Fuck crazy. the kids. They want you. They Facts. want the bitch. Facts. All the niggas for real that I know that, well, in the beginning, the niggas who really take care of their, a lot of niggas who take care of their kids, who kids are older and they not with their baby mama, it's because they was taking care of their kids when they was younger. Straight up. So it's that bond, it's my kid. Right. Right. But the new niggas, if mm. they not still kind of fucking their BMs a little bit, they not taking care of their kids. Facts. Period. That dead be shit be coming along with not being able to get some pussy, yeah. not having your way, not having your control, That's real time. knowing that your BM having her way. Just a whole lot of shit that as a weak, fragile ass, punk ass man, you can't you can't take that shit over your dead body. That's how these niggas feel. Over they motherfucking dead body. So that's it's sad. like, yeah, that's just how a pussy nigga is, you know. When nigga I, got humiliated and shit, so he fucked up about it. Facts. I, I was going to say, what was y'all last conversation like? And he, it's Whenever like, the fuck we argued, um, y'all seen it. Shit. That's I don't crazy. like talk to that nigga like separately or nothing like that. Because it's not me that got to do the talking. It's not me that has to do mm. it. I'm doing what I have to do. And that is like what a motherfucker got to understand, bro. I'm not finna force you. I'm not finna force you. I'm not finna hold your hand. Right. I'm not finna do shit. Like, this is a blessing. This is like a loving thing. Hell yeah. It's not... That's not even the vibe. Like, that's not the energy. Like, it's not like, oh, nigga, we need this. We need, we don't need fucking anything from you. Like, if you're if you a good person, you wake up and decide to be a good motherfucker, you got to restore heart, and you just mm. want to, and you want to be who the fuck you need to be for your children. Right. Then that's a great thing. And God going to like that, you yeah. know. I'll give you some respect and shit like that, but I ain't. Ain't no pressure. I ain't like depending on that shit. I'm not like waiting on that shit. Right. That's like I'm not there with it. It's not that. And I don't you know, see the value in like a bad man. And you know what it is too. Bad giving a bitch some great kids. <laughs> right. And like, you, y'all know what it is though. Like when when people get older, <laughs> that's when people be like, "Damn, I want to get in my kid's life" because they yeah, realize like, it's too late. And like it's the like nigga, he in his thirty. Yeah. I'm, like my, I'm twenty six. That nigga, he about 33, 30. It's like, you he old. I remember when it. my stepdaddy, the last age I remember my stepdaddy was, was 32. <laughs> Damn, and he was just the grownest, biggest adult to me. Yeah. So that's why I be putting that into perspective. Like, damn, this nigga 30, bro, you're a gangbanger or some yeah. shit. Mm. Like, what the fuck? Like, it's just, it's was just the whole thing. Like, I just really grew up right. like a motherfucker. And yeah. it's just mm. like. And low key. It's like, what am I really, like, like I said, when it's like a bad man, it's like, you're better without a bad, any, you're sure. better without right. anything bad. For sure. Because I don't even allow bad shit into my energy, into mm. my house, like to influence my children, none of that shit. Like, my babies are fucking happy, peaceful For ass, sure. funny kids. Like, For sure. they're 
that's that's them. So it's like that's just what I'm keeping going. Like it's all love, I, everything I do. So if mm. a motherfucker ain't bringing no love, if you just weird, feelings hurt, can't handle it. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah, you know. can't go into a half ass neither because that like messes up with the kids. Like that's why I'm right. saying I'm not even. Right. It ain't gonna, like, go, bitch, right. all or nothing. Yeah, I right. ain't playing with no motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And that's for yo. That's for your sake, bitch. That's I don't know how. <laughs> I couldn't like, live with myself yeah. though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, Look just like even you. one yeah, though. It's like, bro. To be honest, I don't know how that nigga feel. Mm. He probably on some unconscious shit. He probably fucked up about it. Do like, we got other kids? Bitch probably do hella drugs and shit. Yep, we got other kids. Mm. I even had a motherfucker reach out to me and like tell me like basically. It's like a fucking eleven year old. Like he got a whole oh, wow. other son, and he a deadbeat to him and shit. No, breezy. Nigga look just like his whole family and shit. Oh, that's I go to the kid page. The kid be talking to his mama all kind of shit. I'm like, oh, so this shit real? This nigga, like, he just he a really, deadbeat. Yeah, he's just like really a deadbeat. But I guess the other bitches, they don't be having like no platform, or they think it's mm. normal, so they never say nothing. As opposed to me, where it's like, bitch, I'm going to slaughter gang your ass. Indeed. Like, you're not going to move. Indeed. You're not going to breathe around this bitch without being literally bullied for being a deadbeat. I think that's literally. the worst thing. Like, that's I ain't never seen this nigga a world whack. famous deadbeat. That's why. I ain't never in all my years of life. And I didn't know a lot of deadbeat shit. My daddy, I'm a motherfucking deadbeat. Damn. I ain't never seen. I don't get it. A motherfucker get bullied. For being a deadbeat that's how you know you dead wrong that's bitch. whack though like you overly wrong to the point where even motherfuckers that don't like me yeah don't fuck with him because of that shit. not for real because it's not that's he don't understand it's not me right you see i don't care it's, it's not kids, me bro it's, it's my babies that yeah that's what i'm saying it's my babies bro and that's Trippin'. that's the only way how i'm gonna care simply because of what they care about right but me personally mm. you got to know <laughs> Don't give a fuck about you being around, bro, because I don't want you, you around. Got more now, so question. <laughs> I was going to say, child support, did y'all ever do a DNA test? So, it's so crazy because I was going to do it, but then I had stopped because, for one, so I literally, so I was going to do it, and it was like a whole ongoing thing. It was a process. The shit had to, yeah. like, long as hell, like a year and a half for them to really get everything together. And then literally, like, when it came to the last step, I had like fasted to see what I should do. Mm. Or what encouraged the fast, I had a Uber, because I had just crashed my fucking car. Damn. And I had an Uber driver. And the, the lady was like a motherfucking angel or something. We were just up in there talking about mm. all kind of shit. She was telling me, it was so weird, because she was telling me about how her baby daddy is basically, she had to like, he in jail because mm. he had raped her daughters. God damn. And it was just all this crazy shit. But she was telling me, like she had brought that, I ain't saying this would happen to me, but she was saying she had kind of brought it to them because she had did some child support shit. Like, cause he was a deadbeat. But then when she did child support, like it's certain rights and shit, she's no longer has. Mm-hmm. Oh, so that was like the government you. is in your business. Mm-hmm. And the government's not in my house, you. period. That makes sense. The government has nothing to do with my kids. Nothing, ain't regulating shit. That's real talk. Shit, I'll regulate something with the government before they ever get in my house and regulate anything with my children. It's not going down like I got that. that. It's not one dollar that is worth that shit, period. I don't give a fuck what it come with. Ain't nobody regulating shit with my kids. Ain't no weird ass visitation, weird, you know, somebody that gotta tr- take them to that. Cause I also talk to people who I do either they parents was on child support mm-hmm. or who know something about it and they don't fuck with it. Even the damn, the, the mamas and shit, the people who, kick this shit off don't necessarily fuck with it yeah because it's like them rights and it's like it's you got the government in your house mm-hmm. yeah that's, not, that's real talk that's not bitch this ain't that this we ain't this ain't no project shit see yeah. he ghetto though mm-hmm. he ghetto he 59 all that hood project pack that bitch ghetto <laughs> so that's how they move so him all his family all buckwheat looking motherfuckers they all you know what i'm saying <laughs> rough riders and shit that <laughs> That's how they get down. He this crazy. shit new to them. I mean, this shit like this what yeah, they do. All oh, child support. Tell, yeah. As opposed to they my family, it's like right. What? Yeah. Be honored. We're talking to you. Straight up. Nah, but I get <laughs> it though. And, and that's how. We, ain't none of that. Like, huh? Mm-hmm, Who? Mm-hmm. No. And the energy like, you put we don't out. Play that shit. Like, like my mama. What? Motherfuckers think. 
I'm how I am because of my mama. Real oh, shit. My mama, <laughs> my mama had five kids. Yeah. I was my mama's third child, and her uh. water broke at prom. So Ooh. she was on number three, and it ain't no triplets. She exactly right. Do the prom. math, right? That's yeah. what I'm saying. Like my mama didn't really overcame. Salute to her for making it to prom, though. Right okay. now she hey. on the. I'm she go on the nice ass crib for sure. On the motherfucking bar, she yes. got like a, a master's, a doctor's yes. degree. Mm. My mama don't play that shit. Yeah. So Salute I didn't seen that. She this her second husband. <laughs> like right. I didn't see. Right. It happens, but yeah. it's like I, I didn't see. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Like I see real life, like. Sure. Well, ain't nobody tripping on no nigga. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, that's how I view. Like, if it's a, a motherfucker, a nigga that ain't acting right or just whatever the case, a bad man, it's like, bro, motherfucker not tripping on you. I don't mm. want you yeah. around me. If you don't align with my shit or if you're not doing that. the right thing, yeah. I don't give a fuck about a dollar, nigga. Straight up. Nah, I respect that's that. That's what I'm talking about. And especially if you dumb, you in your 30s and you gang banging. What the fuck? I feel well, that I too. ain't no pressure. I ain't finna, I'm not, I'm not finna take you to court to be a 30, uh, 35 year old game banging ass daddy <laughs> around my motherfucking son. That's real. Nigga, talk. my sons, they are great. They're gonna be great men. For sure. They ain't gonna be a BD, GD, CD, not a shit. Like, right. they're gonna be men, real men. Mm. Carry themselves as fucking kings. Hell like, yeah. ain't none of that. Like, it's just a lot of shit. It'll never go down like well, that. Ever. Up. With, the, up. with the baby dad, even with the label, it makes sense because all money comes with a price. And it's right. like, are you willing? Right. Some, some, the price that come with it, God. yeah, because mm, sometimes yeah. the the price that the money come with ain't even worth it, and a it makes a lot of, of sense. Trouble. Yeah, yeah, a whole world of trouble. Sometimes that's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I don't. That's why I say like I don't chase money. I don't value mm. my decisions or base my decisions off I a dollar. Like that. Yeah, you fuck your whole shit up. Yeah, like, like fuck no. You gotta base your shit off of your motherfucking heart, your mind. Right. Yeah, damn it. Just you know, God. You gotta pray. You gotta med- like. You gotta do shit. You can't Straight just up. be out here willy nilly. Moving emotionally, <laughs> none of that shit. Like nah. you really gotta put the time and That's effort in to do up. the best, whatever is best. I For do sure. what's best. Like a motherfucker might look at it like, mm. you know, every child need a father. Cool, mm-hmm. but as far as what's best, right, yeah. right now, it's not best yeah. for that motherfucker to be around. I mean, because it's I like, because it. if yeah. it was, then he would be around. It would be Straight in his up. heart. Straight up. If it ain't in your heart, then Facts. it ain't best. And you don't got force it. Facts. Nothing else. I, I ain't finna force you. I'm not finna take you to court, bro. Especially when you know nigga, how you dope ain't taking the kids me are. to court, nigga. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Because if you try to take me to court, then your world gonna get fucked up. So mm. it's like, with that being yeah. said, you know what I'm saying? You just, he's gonna have to have, it's gonna really have to be his heart. Some internal right? shit. Yeah, literally. Yeah. That's, that's the Change only. Change as a person. That's yeah. the only way, bitch, because we don't want shit to do with you if your ass is not a righteous motherfucking man, period, sure. bitch. It's like, yeah, okay, I got <laughs> pregnant by the nigga. All right. Yeah. Cool. That don't mean I got to deal with him if he For ain't sure. right. I got pregnant by him. I realized he wasn't shit, and I'm moving accordingly. It what is up? what it is. Now, now, <laughs> are you dating yeah. now, and how difficult or easy is it to meet people and be like, all right, I got three kids? <laughs> See, so it's the funny because the niggas was. be on me bed. Now that's what I'm saying. The niggas be on me bed. So it's some dimples. Unless, it's some unless, dimples, girl. Unless, <laughs> unless he one of my old niggas and just in his feelings. <laughs> Cause I got pregnant <laughs> on them and shit. Can you know they might take it a little hard. Can you hear, but bro. the new niggas, the, the new niggas, the new niggas excited. They trying to figure sure. out what I did to get pregnant. Got that thing. <laughs> so it's like they niggas be intrigued. Like niggas mm. be liking me. It don't matter what I do. Like I could be mean or whatever. Like niggas <laughs> like that shit. I don't know. Well, but I really be. That's I be true. being myself. That's I true. I swear I be being myself though. That's a, that's and it sad. just be like. You the mean the one. He a real ass bitch. I really, I be, I be chilling though. For but sure. I'm also, I'm a, all right. So I'm, I'm like a really good like lover though. <laughs> oh, she my like, spirit animal. <laughs> Damn. For real though, like Which, you I, a Gemini? Yeah. Ooh. What? What you in? I fuss with Gemini's with in terms of relationship. I'm a Capricorn. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. Uh uh-uh. uh. Y'all Capricorns, y'all love us. We y'all do. Here, I know. Yeah, I fuss with a few Gemini's. Yeah, got, see y'all. Y'all. Capricorns toxic, toxic. be like my like favorite fuck buddies is like Capricorns, Capricorns for a show. Y'all are like the Capricorns. Y'all are like the ultimate <laughs> fuck buddy. All right, take it. <laughs> we are, we are. Unless, <laughs> unless we really, unless we really like do some shit where we yeah. like 
it's like a dark go right, right, right. heart or some shit. Of course, like, of course. Some shit that oh like is just like That's fact though. Like just some shit. But y'all be so lean. Y'all let a lot of shit like it'll we be chill. cool. We chill. But it, it'll be like that one or two things that's like so off limits. And it's mm. like if we do it, it's like uh, It's a problem. Yeah, I'm on punishment right now yeah. with a Capricorn, man. <laughs> punishment for my lover. Yeah, What'd you do? Like that. <laughs> I am not saying this because if I say this, then it's gonna be a whole nother conversation. Damn. But <laughs> no, because Capricorns are a little. But Capricorn, see y'all, see the thing about me is people be liking me, and when I mean when I say people, I mean like people like niggas be liking me and bitches be liking me. So, so. you like girls too? It depends. It depends. What do it depend on? Um, so I only fuck my friends. Ah, <laughs> oh, you toxic. Oh, yeah. Key, you toxic, Key. Oh, yeah. You toxic, Key. She, she toxic. She, she knew it was. No, no. Toxic. Playing on the play. Toxic. No. I, no, no, I can explain. No, I can explain. Please explain, please. Please explain. I can explain. You got to. Okay, toxic, so. Y'all. That's toxic as hell. <sighs> Not you out of breath. <laughs> no, so. That's how you know she about to lie. Look, look. She nah. toxic as hell. No. <laughs> so. Yeah. No. Nah. Gather her thoughts like. Because this is the same argument she had with no, him. Right. So what you tell no, because it ain't like that. Oh, man. Really, it all started. It all started. Oh, Some threesome shit. Yes, but I ain't oh, never do the three. Gee. No, no, the bitch. No, gee, so this what happened. So we in the motherfucking, so with the new school I went to, remember I got kicked out. Damn, I she took it school. all the way back. Because, girl, this had shit kicked Damn, out. Damn, This was hey. my senior year. Period. Man, you, everybody in the whole school liked me and shit. It's only so much a bitch could resist. There's some dimples, girl. So it came to the point, I'm in the mirror. Um, bro, I'm in a locker room. I'm in the mirror. I'm Tell you. Yeah, you know, okay. Yeah. Yeah, then this that. bitch that I'm cool with, she come up behind me. She, mm. she now we both in the mirror. So I'm looking at me. I'm looking at her, looking at me. We all looking at each other in this bitch. Oh, I see the so, picture. So she like, yeah, I just want to eat your pussy. Oh, like, oh shit! I'm brushing my you head. Like that shit. My motherfucking brush got stuck. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Oh God damn! I can't no, no. What the fuck? So, so, <laughs> after that, you know, after I got my brush out, my goddamn hair, I was just like, "Woo!" I'm yeah, like, "All right, girl, I, I see you later." <laughs> like I was really, I was, I was fucked up. Off. I was, damn, I don't think about that shit the whole time. I'm just like, yeah, <sighs> like it had really tweaked me out because I was cool with her. But I ain't gonna lie, it had made me a little uncomfortable though, cause she was pop. I only like pretty bitches, like I only period, like that. period. So yeah, she was pop, G. So What's I ended pop? up telling like my ugly. She was pop, pop, pop. pop. Damn, pop. busted, pop. busted. You so, made the scene look real cute, but now you done fucked it up. Yeah, lie. that's what I'm saying. So I ended up telling my friend. Now my friend, she was pretty. She reminded me of me a little bit. You know what I'm oh. saying? So I told her, yeah. I'm like, bitch, I'm like, bitch, why the fuck this bitch just said she wants to eat my motherfucking pussy up in the locker room, bitch, what the fuck, I'm scared as hell in this motherfucking room. So she like, ah, that's crazy, that's crazy. I do five too. minutes later, five minutes later on my mama, she texts me, Woo. Um, I gotta ask you something. Ooh. I'm like, what's up? She like, uh, uh, you have a threesome with me and my nigga? And we'll maybe. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I, like I said, I kind of, my friend, she reminded me of me. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, I kind of like her a little bit. That's Period. cool. So I told the bitch, yeah. Okay. That shit was a whole lie. <laughs> the bitch ended up pulling up on me. Now, the nigga ends up going out the window. I think probably like the next day or two days later, she told me something. They got to it. I'm like, oh, he's not getting fucked. He's Period. not. You a rider. I'm like, look. oh, we're not doing, we're not doing shit. This is the threesome nigga. No, he's he out of here. But me so and then, no, then it came to the point where she's like, okay, but well, what if I still want to? Um, oh, God. Fuck. Yes. Fuck. Yes. So at this time, I had a little boyfriend who lived right down the street from me and shit. Because I had got kicked out. I was he got niggas. Oh, you my, her, not, you're about to have a threesome. And you got a boyfriend? But that was for my friend. But you see, I ain't do it. You see, I ain't do it. I ain't do it. I ain't do it. I ain't do it. I didn't. Key hell. Accidentally tell But I ain't do it. I ain't never did no shit like that. Key hell. I was just riding for the friend. That was just 
So Speed, you in hot heat of the moment, whatever. So you in the frame. <laughs> So you yeah. in the frame. You in the so frame. yeah, so then it came to the point. Now the boyfriend nigga, the boyfriend he pissed nigga. me off. Now that bitch used to be right around the motherfucking corner. And me and him, what? Like he really, like he pissed me off. Like it was like war with us, like a lot. So it came to the point, he pissed me off. So I said, fuck it. I hit her up. I told the bitch slide him. Now I was innocent. We just, I'm, I'm chilling. Bitch slide on now, me. I so was cra- innocent. This Look. so crazy because right. the bitch gave me head in a car though. Ooh. Mm. Cross sex so, up, man. Look, so imagine he was my neighbor, y'all. Why the fuck when I was done? We sitting in the front seat, nigga walk past. Oh, but God that was his thing, damn. cause he'll be walking to the store. It was dark and shit outside, but he'll be walking to it was like a little cornerstone damn. shit where everybody he hit they blunt. Yeah, he see me. He saw me in the car well, cause he'll be on he'll be on my cousin house. That's why we again to it. Mm. He'll always see if it's a car there, if it's some niggas yeah. that he'll be spying on me and shit. Yeah. So he literally saw me and I literally I was cracking up. I'm like, girl, what the fuck? <laughs> like she had spoke to him and shit. He like, what up? <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was just like, bitch, don't talk to them. Then I just tell you, me and him got into it. Yo. But I literally, when the bitch left, I ended up going with him. You know, because that was my nigga. For Key real. funny as fuck. Hold on, so all right, Before, all right. You just took us back to 12th grade or some shit. But what just happened right now? Uh, so what did I say? How did I say? So you. Were I was just saying that, that was just my no, first. You were saying bitch that, gave me head. Yeah, but you were saying you were in an argument with a Capricorn because of some oh. shit. Uh, Capricorn's fuck, a great lover. I, I fucked with somebody in her family. But it wasn't like that. It wasn't like that. That bitch really yes, my friend. That bitch is my friend. That bitch really my bitch, for real. That bitch my friend and my bitch. I fucked with Key. <laughs> Key, my spirit animal, no cap. I fucked with you. Yeah. She my friend, bitch. For but sure. she ain't talking. She ain't fucking. I mean, she. she ain't my Capricorn me now. Uh, brother, he got, he got the right to be mad. It's a guy, right? No, it's a girl. Oh, Ooh, Capricorn oh. sister. Yeah, that's she not got the right. No, my Capricorn head. nigga. So I had a best. Oh. <laughs> no, nah, I had a best friend. Y'all gotta understand. I'm 26. It's a long time. Yeah. Like. So I had a, uh, a best friend, Capricorn male, mm. and he ain't mad at me, even though he used to do that little shit. But once I really cut his ass off for real, yeah. Then it's like, all right, he missing me now. Type shit. But this bitch, y'all Capricorn bitches. But let me bitches, tell you, woo. What, is she a stud or a fan? No, she's like a regular girl. Oh, That's a regular girl. Look. That's why I'm like, bitch, we ain't even, come on, ho, we ain't even gay for real, for real, for all real. Right, I was going to say, you might want to get you a stud because they are great babysitters. I don't want no stud, though. They're great babysitters. But I like dick, though. Yeah, right. I hear you. And studs, I'll break a stud heart. Yeah, 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 yeah for I'll sure. I'll break that bitch heart because, bitch, I'm getting cracked like yeah, she. <laughs> Her, she'll I'm, be sick. It'll she'll be, be, sick. She'll be sick. sick. She ain't want no babysitter. She'll be bitch. She'll be bitch. She'll be bitch. She'll be sick. She'll be bitch. I know you got some dick last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I'll yeah. be in this fight dead, yeah. bitch. You toxic. Toxic. So, no. I don't want, I don't want no stuff. <laughs> no. Hey. But it's like, I, I, I probably... To be honest, I never even fucked with a stud though. That's so crazy. Oh, they watch your I kids. Only, They'll help. Child. You gonna see? I don't think you care. should though. I don't think she should. <laughs> Cause you gonna baby put it on you too bad. Nah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You know, baby daddy for a little minute. <laughs> she gonna break their heart though. Hey mm. man, you are not. Nah. I mean, if it's a stud that kind of let me dibble and dabble. Okay, that's, well, nah, if, if you gotta fuck it. You gotta fuck it. That's gonna be tough. That's gonna be tough. But now I'm saying. But I'm saying a stud don't got a dick. I ain't gonna lie, some of the studs be I ain't here to, I ain't here to argue with them. I ain't here to Period. stand up for them. I'm just saying, if you want a babysitter and somebody help go half on daycare, a real stud nigga will, shit. Real they'll nigga step shit. up. They'll step up. But they ain't got no dick. Hey, hey some got, got no dick. But, hey, some got bigger ones than your mans, you hey, know. Hey, hey. But hey, whatever you, makes hey, you Hey, I ain't gonna let that. If I end up with a stud now, Nah, come on now. It's my fault. That'll be some shit. That's gonna be your damn fault for speaking that shit up on me now. Yo. That's I'm crazy. I ain't, I ain't never did that though. I'll probably that's see what that funny. be like one day. You should, but no, I, don't I don't know. It's, it's, it's a stud will probably tell my little ass up yeah. or something. I'm it's you just gonna a break her heart. It's the, you gonna break you know her heart. What? You don't need to be a stud because y'all gonna be You said I'll fall in love. Don't True. do that. No, no. Y'all gonna be I'm fighting. I'm about to get mad and be like, dyke ass bitch. Yo, for sure. What do I do Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Wow. Without a doubt. Wow. All right, let's Without a doubt. Let's wrap it up. Hey. She disrespectful. She disrespectful. We know I how I get because I didn't know how I get no, when I argue. It'd be toxic. It'd be toxic. It'd be toxic. Now, 
they're a girl, so now they feel like they can fight you because you yeah. a girl. But then it's, it's going to be kind of like, it's, you're kind of a girl, but bitch, yeah. you still kind of got the strength of a nigga. Yeah. Don't try to fight me, bitch. Because you were stuck. Yeah. You, you guys okay, don't try to fight me now. We got to make sure a kid gets to her flight. Okay, we got to make sure she gets to her flight. Right. So, Wait, yeah, let me, uh, you funny. Let me say this. Let me say this real quick. But I'm, I'm single, though, y'all. I don't even play like that. I'm, uh. I'm hey, actually yeah. looking for love at the moment. Hell I'm, no. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm looking for love. I'm looking for love. love. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you toxic nah. as fuck. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. Key probably gave us our funnest interview to yeah. date right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, yeah. Key, Key gave us, and she raw and real. You everything yeah. that I wanted you to be before we even, like, met you. So, like... Kudos yeah. to you for being a real ass bitch. Thank for you. sure. Thank I love that. I love that. So, with y'all too, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah. We lit. Studs, we lit. Right. We lit. What's that saying? We lit. I'm a cancer. I'm soft. That's oh. All cancers. Y'all love me. I was going to say, we love The cancers love me. Uh uh. Excel no. is the most All my cancer person. friends stay away. Oh, baby, don't cancer. hurt your heart. I know. I, know. I look. Nah, but. No, you will hurt my your heart. The cancer nigga is the one who walked across the car. Oh, my God. That's what I'm saying. I love y'all too. They too emotional. But I love my. I love y'all, but y'all be friend. They, they emotional. Y'all be confused. Yeah, y'all, cause y'all, y'all be confused. Y'all, y'all feelings will be hurt. Yeah, but then y'all will do some shit that I don't like, and it's like, bitch, yeah. but you was just crying because I did that shit. Now I'm gonna rock your motherfucking world. That's what y'all, y'all be crazy. doing. That's Yo, what y'all do. That, that was my old days. I'm t- I told y'all I don't even Girl, play like that. I gotta be. I don't play like that. <laughs> Nah, nah, nah. Right my now. last nigga for real, for real, for real. For real. Like who we actually. I got a pee, yeah. When we used yeah, to tussle. Going, yeah, yeah. That was back in the day. I ain't tussled with a nigga in a long time. I ain't tussled since like 2021, for real. Girl, that was for a real. year and a half ago. Let me, yeah, 2021. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I changed. I can talk about it now. You, you see? Me you know you didn't groove when you could talk about it. I couldn't talk about this shit a couple years ago because it was still going on. <laughs> Yo, but I could talk about it. I didn't grow. I ain't gonna do nothing like that ever again. Like I said, I'm looking for love. I'm trying to tie the Don't knot. No, nah. Settle down. You need a tie. <laughs> <laughs> One more. You got four kids. <laughs> hey, get some tube sad. Nah, for real. I probably do need to get my tube sad so I could go back to really having fun. Cause yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm scared. No, because it, I'm scared. It's low key like crazy. I like, am scared. I ain't really been able to really have fun, fun like how I wanna. Have fun. So you thinking like, damn, if I got I don't want to get pregnant. I'm triplets. scared of like dick, 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 dick. That's why you need the <laughs> stud dick, all right? Wait, you saying what? The you, stud Yeah, dick? you need, so you don't get pregnant. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, that makes sense. I'm trying to help her set up alley oop, goddamn. I'm going to get alley oop, not for me. I'm saying for somebody you else. Said. I'm trying to give you an uh, option to not have no more babies. What happened? Right. No. Uh, <laughs> I was, she said she trying to tie the knot. I said you need to tie these knots. Right, and oh. I was like, tell them to get my tooth tied. You want more kids? And then I told no, her I ain't been able to really have fun for real because mm. I'm scared. I'm scared of like, a girl. you know, like dick. Get it, yeah. Get, like, get dick. It'd be crazy to get pregnant twice like, and have six kids. Ah, oh, that'd be some bullshit. <laughs> that'd be crazy. But so, everybody been saying that. Y'all got to stop saying that. That's why I'm not. Yeah, no, I'm not finna fuck. No dick. I ain't fucking. Damn, XL. <laughs> strong ass. XL, strong as hell. <laughs> so wait, wait, wait. We got a, we got a question. The the oh, you. Um, I, I it's okay, XL. Too much. Okay, so we got I this question. The whole 2023, I don't we don't feel fucked. We don't want you. What? Key too toxic. Y'all you toxic. Down, y'all be in y'all motherfucking feelings. Y'all ain't. Feeling yeah, I was. Right. That's the problem. Oh, bashing me and shit. Everything. The sex going to be too good. You're going to be too real. Right, and motherfucker going to fall in love. Yeah, then y'all going to be all mad. Can't fuck with I you. Niggas yeah, 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 yeah. It's going to be a problem. Nah, we fuck with you. Nah, bro. we, nah, Keith, for real. You literally gave us like our I'm most funnest interview. Like, like you gave us our most funnest interview. Straight up. Straight <laughs> up. <laughs> for real. So we got this question. We ask all our guests. Uh, what does the word progress mean to you? That's the name of our show. That's our key word. So, you know, you a progressive person. Period. So what does progress mean to you? Progress to me is Doing better, betterness. Mm. You know, yes, that's betterness. Progress. Okay, I like that. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that. Betterness. I like that. Better. It. Just better. For sure. However, your better is, cause a motherfucker could think you doing better and mm. you ain't, or they could think you ain't doing better and you are. Mm. So whatever your better is, personally, I like that. That's Progression, right? That is progress. I like that. You got progress support for you. Yes. Oh, what y'all done gave me? Hey. Straight A. You got to hang it up next to the babies. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and I 
Can you feel that so cute? And we, we got another gift for you that we feel like you really gonna like. We gonna get that to you off air though. Oh, we think you gonna like this next gift. It better not be no damn deal though. <laughs> <laughs> Your ass. You yeah. need to stay on now. Look, no, I'm just a girl. <laughs> I told you, I ain't. Come on, G. 2021, that Yo. was my last nigga for real. Key for real, funny for real. as fuck. I don't play like that, girl. Funny. I'm playing it safe out here in these streets. Okay. Hey. Playing it safe, baby. Key, you funny. Y'all already know it's the prize. <laughs> it's the prize, Prep, man. Yeah. We out. The Progress Report.